There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the Loft, the 40 LOFT by Jayco RV here at Halet RV in Coldwater, Michigan. And if I am exceptionally nasally and monotone today, I do apologize. I am extremely under the weather, and I almost thought about going home today just to rest up, and then we just had a pile of trailers come in, sub-zero temperatures, so I said, hey, suck it up, buttercup. Let's make this thing happen. If my forefathers could build skyscrapers without safety nets, then I can walk out in the cold with a camera. It's not that bad. So what is this thing? What are we looking at? It's not necessarily a new floor plan. It's new to Jayco. This is really one of the first that they've uh, produced. It's it's a f absolute behemoth. The thing is huge. It weighs over 12,000 pounds, though. On a destination trailer like this, a trailer that is parked and not towed, the weight kind of doesn't matter. If you don't have a vehicle to get it there, you give us a call. We'll get you a driver set up to get it out to your place. Don't worry. We can put this right on site, have it set and leveled for you if we need to. Um, so, uh, the one that we're looking at, keep in mind, and I, I mention this all the time, but it's important. The one that we're looking at might not be the one that we have in stock. I want to really stress that so that you guys understand what we're looking at here. This is an example of a 40 loft, not necessarily the one that we have. That being said, if it's popular, which this is going to be because it's so funny. When our quality team was checking this in this morning, a lady from Toledo, Ohio called and goes, do you have one of those lofts? We want to come see it. We can't find one anywhere. That's, that's so funny. We literally are getting our first one right now. She'll probably be here any minute. I wouldn't be surprised if she walks in the door while we're doing this. Anyway, enough, enough stories. Wow, I am so heavily medicated right now. I am swimming. <laughs> anyway, um, what is a bungalow? This is, I mean, I, it's technically a travel trailer, but you're not going to travel with this. This is a big Bertha. This is, uh, our salesman called it the baby got back Bertha because she's got a big old rear end on her with that loft bunk back there. But what's nice is this is a massive living space. You see the dual opposing slide front living rooms and the whole front wall, by the way, is nothing but windows. Kind of like you see there on the side. These are the shipping protective panels, and we leave those on really until we absolutely can't anymore to keep this thing protected, because that's a lot of nice glass up there. We want to make sure it is in top shape when it gets to your place. Uh, so you have to bear with me. I'd like to have those off there, but I also want this to be in perfect condition when it gets to your site, and I'm pretty sure that's what you want too. Now, <clears throat> normally, this RV would have aluminum siding. It still has a wooden skeleton, but we have upgraded to a fiberglass skin. And they use double offset uh, layers of Luan under that, so essentially this has like a 3 8 thick suit of armor all the way around it. That does add some weight, but again, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a park model type trailer. It's a park friendly RV. It's not going to be towed around, so the weight doesn't matter as much. And it gives you beautiful cosmetics and on a big coach like this that's so much less surface area to clean it's not even funny now you're going to find thermal package on this this has enclosed forced air heated multiple levels of insulation underbelly insulated slide outs double insulated roof astro foil here there and everywhere for reflective uh insulative capacities it's got the same insulation package as Jayco, zero degree rated fifth wheels. They just don't actually rate this. Now, take a look at the fender skirting in front of the tires, and then look at it back here, and you see how far it drops down. This has a drop frame, just like a fifth wheel. It goes from a 12 inch beam to a 10 inch beam, just like a Jayco Pinnacle luxury fifth wheel. And that's what allows them to have the lower bedroom with a master bed slide out with an upper bunk. And you see that taper, it looks like a toy hauler. And actually one of our salesmen went, what are they doing? It looks like they built a toy hauler and they forgot to put on the ramp. He didn't realize this was the new loft model coming in. Um, it's, uh, you know, very odd looking, but this is a floor plan that's built purely around function. Um, you know, so what? So it looks a little imposing from the outside. Who cares? It's big, it's awesome. Um, you know, I like that there's windows upstairs and downstairs, too. Ah, uh, let's see here. Here's something else they like. When I say park-friendly, this is exactly what I mean. A lot of times, th this is the only 
park friendly Jayco bungalow um, we stock with a door side slide out because in our neck of the woods everybody has a deck everyone's got that big patio deck they got to park this thing next to well because the trailer is so big and they put the slide all the way up to the front they left all this room back here for a big old patio deck so you can still do that now Someone's gonna have a heart attack and they're gonna say, oh, they went cheap because the second entry door only has two steps. Remember that this is that drop frame and it's already low to the ground. You see how that rear entry door is far lower than the primary sliding entry door? Keep little stuff like that in mind. This is an odd critter, but it does a lot of really cool things. A little outside TV hookup right there. Um, I actually had the foresight, amazingly, through my medicated haze, to uh, have this door unlocked. <clears throat> and that brings us right to the control panel, which I think is really handy and really slick. And this thing's got about a billion light switches. Let me see if I can figure out what each one of them does here. We're gonna, gonna go one by one. Hey, there we go, there's a main cabin. Uh, a couple different outside light setups. So, uh, again, that whole front wall is windows. I just want to point that out again, because someone's going to forget and say, I don't know, it looks kind of dark up there. This is all windows, folks, and they all have these really gorgeous uh, wooden plantation-style blinds. Uh, so you can have tons of privacy, you can have tons of light, you can have everything in between, and you'll see those blinds repeated all the way through the living area, every big window in here. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about a couple critical things. First of all, the one that I have in stock, again, I hate to repeat this, but I have to, might be different from this. Like, for instance, this is the Java decor, in case you're looking for a cup of Joe. Um, there's other decors. The Jayco bungalows share the same decors as the Jayco Eagle fifth wheels. This is sort of the missing link in the family in that regards. Um, another thing. There are plenty of other park-friendly trailers. We carry some, like, from uh, other brands. Uh... But where the bungalow is different from most of them is that it is still wider and still taller than most. Um, this is a full 102 inch wide body like a toy hauler. Maximum width require or before you have to get like wide load licensing. It, uh, they also have 18 inch taller ceilings than a common travel trailer. This, I mean, you could call it a flat deck fifth wheel, but frankly some fifth wheels don't get this big. Most don't actually. This, this has a 8 foot ceiling height um the dollar cheaper uh park friendly trailers which don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with some of those they they might fill your purposes just fine but they're going to be only eight foot wide and they may only be seven and a half foot tall if you were building a house and you had your choice between seven and a half foot ceilings and eight foot ceilings you would choose eight foot ceilings every single time and that's what this is this is designed to be a destination vacation house. Uh, that, that's what's really cool about this. And a good example of that is the water heater. This has a monstrous 20 gallon water heater. A lot of the dollar cheaper brands still have an eight to 10 gallon water heater. This thing is designed so that the whole family can take long hot showers and nobody runs out. Now notice the height of these slides. These are like six and a half to seven foot tall slide outs. I haven't put the tape measure to them, but they're huge. Now what that allows them to do is have normal big windows with an extra 18 inch cabinet shoved up there. Bonus storage. No such thing as too much storage. Now in this model, what I love in this front living room, like it, man, I tell you what, if you're like parked by a lake, oh my Lord, those windows would just be ideal. They'd be ideal in the baby got back bungalow i wish i could say i came up with that um so you've got your dual reclining wall hugging theater seat directly across from you know a uh they uh, a very small 55 inch furion high def monster over here now that furion actually swings out to face the front sofa or you can leave it at whatever angle you want in between if you have guests that you're seating and entertaining. Um, but uh, there's storage behind that as well, as my Baptist grandfather called it, his Baptist gra uh, medicine cabinet. Um, ceiling fan up here to keep some air flowing. We've put the double ACs on these. So with that thermal package, uh, I mean, you could be in Arizona and this thing will keep up. That is our goal so that this thing can go anywhere and keep up with any climate, uh, you know, reasonable anytime. You want to go 
you know, 40 degree sub-zero weather in Alaska. Well, there's no RVs made for that, really. Something else I like. They put a definition in here. You see how you've got the light, dark wood tones there. When you just stare at it, it seems offensive. But when you realize they defined a living room and then they defined a kitchen, it actually makes a lot of sense and it looks really good. I like how all the kitchen wood work is the same instead of going to like, some of these people keep going to this like black island. I don't, I don't get that. Maybe it's just because I'm a Midwest boy. Just a small town girl. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> look at the kitchen here. This has more storage in it than a luxury fifth wheel. And that's the thing. A lot of times when people are going to be like, well, do I get a trailer like this or do I get a fifth wheel? Because I'm, I'm a seasonal camper. This thing comes in a fraction of the price. Like, maybe 30-40% less than an equivalent size and equivalent uh, built fifth wheel except it's bigger it gives you more space how cool is that uh all kinds of drawer space you see that you've got that tall pantry built right into the slide out and that's the same height as the one across from us big residential sized oversized microwave now this is actually one of the areas where this is different from a normal travel trailer is that it has a little more residential-ish uh, kitchen setup between that uh, oven and stove and then you see the big refrigerator over here, that big GE fridge and look at the truckload of storage around that thing. Something else you're not seeing is inside this little cubby right here, we have a centralized vacuum cleaner. And they put it in a centralized location. That sounds repetitive, like the, you know, Department of Redundancy Department. Um, but you don't realize that a lot of trailers don't actually do that. Uh, a lot of trailers will put a central vacuum only on one end or the other of the, uh, the RV, and you have to try to, you know, sweep it around. All By the way, this whole island is just pure cabinet space. And they did the smartest thing possible here. Instead of shoving the sink right in the middle of the island, they pushed it off to the side. And that means that you have more cabinet space down here than if you would have otherwise. This is just wide open cabinet space. And you have prep space. OMG prep space. You actually get some in this RV. So many of them leave that out. Drives me nuts. You know what I forgot to talk about? I should have talked about this earlier. The fact that this has twice the warranty of basically anything else in its class. It is exceptional in that regard. But that's an everyday facet of Jayco RV. They have longer, better warranty. Period. I like the extra, just, it's enough. It's enough linen space to leave some towels in here in the bathroom, and you are not going to have bathroom trouble in here. You've got more than enough room to get dressed. Uh, I, I I think the world's tallest man or woman is they're not going to hit their heads in this shower. That's not going to be a problem. Remember, you've got that 20-gallon fast recharge water heater to give you hot water in here. Big adult size sink, which is something I like. And this is technically a... I guess you'd call it a, a bunkhouse because of the loft, but this is an ideal couple. So let's say grandpa and grandma have like a lake property and they don't want to go through the deal of like building a house. They could get this because they have, grandpa and grandma, let me flip on the light here. Grandpa and grandma have a full rear bedroom master suite. We've upgraded this one to a king bed. Queen is standard. Remember what I have in stock could be different. Monster rear wall storage. The cabinet on the left is prepped for stackable washer and dryer with a vent out the rear wall. Um, all sorts of dresser and cabinet and closet space in here. And uh, with that drop frame, plenty of walking height. I'm 6'3". On my toes, I can't touch the ceiling. There's, they did an awesome job in here of making sure everyone has enough height, enough room, and the bed does lift for easy storage. Um, the, uh, this is the same window treatments they're using in the Pinnacle series. I mean, this is a really an interesting product. Now, if you have the grandbabies over, or mom and dad, oh, come on, man. The uh, camera doesn't want to focus for me here. Maybe it'll, I don't know how long it's been that way. Hopefully not too long. Anyway. Um, the, uh, steps, wow, this thing is just really being finicky. I am so sorry. Uh, anyway, hopefully you get the idea. I'll just keep on rolling here. We'll go with it. Um, the steps to the loft right here, you might notice actually have extra little bonus storage going on. You've got a pair of these extra little bonus drawers and that is handy. I tell you what, socks and underwear for the kids, <laughs> you know, if they're playing outside that, that extra little sock space is so handy coming up here. You know, I'm walking, I'm not crawling up this. 
you've got a fairly generous loft space. And this is where you do locate the second AC, though they're centralized. So you have dual centralized AC. And they did run ductwork down into the master bed below this. So it's not like only the loft gets air conditioned and then grandpa and grandma or mom and dad or whoever have to sweat it out. You know, it's no Richard Simmons. You're not sweating to the oldies in this thing. If I crawl up in here, chances are I'll fall asleep. But I wanted to give you an idea of the extra entertainment center that you have up there. So, you guys have had a chance to, you know, virtually crawl through this entire thing. Um, <laughs> this is not easy with one hand on a camera. I'm going to try not to fall and kill myself. There we go. This is a cool model. You know, there's a couple different brands that build something like this. Jayco has more warranty. They're wider. They're taller. Um, you know, superior workmanship and materials, which is what allows them to have that warranty. It's a cool critter. Uh, I, I mean, as soon as we saw this, we said that, yeah, yeah, give us one of those for sure. We need, we need this. This thing is going to be a rock star. Um, and, uh, I, I think they hit a home run. Again, if you want to see what we have in stock and you want to know, uh, pricing and availability, there's a link in the video description. You know, we're Halid RV. If you found this video useful, I don't care where you live. All I ask is you give us the opportunity to earn your business. It's only fair. And the only thing you have to lose is a lot of money. Consider that, really. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thank you for tolerating me and my sickness today.